Hello everybody, it's Miss Amy. I'm in the garden. I'm just finishing up doing some maintenance for the day and thought I'd give you a quick update on what's growing and what's not. I've got two new patches of beans that are coming in. They are starting to flower really well this week after so much rain last week. So we should have beans for quite a while as long as the weather doesn't get too cold. The zucchini are slowing down but we should have some zucchini for the next week or so. Um, there's only one summer squash plant left that made it through all of the wind and rain, and I can't tell if those squash were pollinated or not, so I'm watching those to see if we'll have them this week. The San Marzano tomatoes, which are a longer season tomato, meaning that they're ready late in the season, are still doing okay. I lost quite a few due to uh, too much water, they just continue to take it in and take it in and take it in until the skins burst. But now that we've got some drier weather and some sun and warm temperatures coming, I'm hopeful that we can get a few more nice size pickings off of the San Marzanos. So if you're interested in a few pounds to put in your freezer, um, just let me know and I'll watch them. And as I'm able to pick, I'll weigh them out and get in touch. These are the zucchini plants and they're blooming like crazy today and there are lots of pollinators in here. So I'm hopeful that again, we'll have a fairly decent crop of zucchini for the next week or so. There are some radishes coming. There are some beets coming. There are still some carrots. I've got a bed back here that I've been keeping covered overnight and during all the rain. It's got lettuce and a little bit of kale in it and they've germinated really well. So I'll be back over later to put the cover on for the night. Um, we will have some peas. I don't think we'll have the bumper crop I was hoping for, but um, this patch of peas has started to set flowers. This is the first setting. Um, they'll grow another foot or so taller and we'll get another setting of um, flowers, hopefully. But there are some pea pods that are starting in here. I've got some more of these at home in the small garden too. These are the short little peas. Do you remember me talking about these? The, pe the seed company said they didn't need to be staked. They didn't need to be tied up. Well, I think that they would have been better if they had been staked or tied up, but they are flowering. I'll just have to search quite a bit for the peas. I did see this when I was coming through here earlier. There is one pod that's actually starting to fill out some peas. So that's pretty exciting. Um, the yellow grape tomato has been splitting like crazy. I'm gonna watch it this week, but my gut feeling is this is its last week in the garden. These are some really cool gourds. I can't remember what they're called, um, but they're kind of a star shape and they are taking a long time to get to the point where they're flowering. But I'm hopeful this week will really boost them with some warm temperatures and some sunshine. Let's see what we've got going on. There's another bed with some lettuce here. And then the south end of the garden, I've actually pulled three tomato plants out of the garden today. The salad tomatoes are done. There was another um, plant that had taken a ton of wind during the big wind storm, and so I pulled it today as well. We've got some spinach coming in this bed. There's another bed that has small um, spinach coming. The peppers, um, I don't know if you were aware, but during our big wind storm, most of the peppers actually fell off the plants. They just got rattled in the cages. So we've been waiting for new peppers to come and um, they're coming. In fact, all of these peppers are setting flowers and trying to set new fruits. We'll see if the weather will hold out for those or not, but there are a lot of fruits coming on these carmines. It's tough to see because they're the same color as the plants. So we'll have peppers for a bit. The eggplant are doing much better after all of the rain has come through. They're not going to get very big though is my concern. So if you're interested in eggplant, um, let me know and I'll get some picked for you. We'll have just a tiny bit of tomatoes from the big mama plants. There are some bell peppers coming. There are a few bigger ones in here that I've been trying to leave to see if they'll turn red. But there are quite a few small ones coming. Again, they lost all of their um, fruits in that big windstorm. So they're really late. So 
slicing tomatoes are going to be few and far between. There are a handful of big ones um, that were green in the plants and they got pretty um, good size during the rain. They just plumped up. Now we'll see if they will actually um, ripen. We've got a ton of banana peppers. So if you're looking to do some banana pepper rings for the refrigerator, get in touch with me and I will um, share a recipe with you that you can do that with. These are serrano peppers. Um, the serrano peppers are hot and they don't have that green um, vegetable kind of flavor that sometimes you get from a jalapeno, but there are oodles and oodles of these if you're looking for them. This is a batch of beans that I've been picking from for the last several days and it's doing really well. This is its neighbor. This was put in about a week later, but again, they're setting tons of flowers. We should have some beans from these in about a week. But most of the tomatoes are looking pretty sad. These were tiny last week before the rains came. So I'm somewhat hopeful that we'll get another small flush of tomatoes and then that'll be that. The jalapenos are doing well. I picked a ton of them last week to make um, hot pepper rings, but there are lots more coming. So if you are looking for jalapenos, let me know and I will pick some for you. Otherwise, things are winding down in a hurry. The pollinator bed is doing great. The sedum is covered in bees today. There are honeybees, there are bumbles. Uh, there have been a couple of hummingbirds through here. This is why I plant so much um, for fall flowers because they are really trying to store up to sustain themselves through the winter. I hope you can see all of them. This is a Hungarian wax pepper. And if you haven't had them, uh, they are a little bit spicy. They are, I would say a little bit milder than a jalapeno, but they've got some heat, but they don't stay with you. Like a jalapeno or a serrano, if you bite into one of those, it stays with you for a long time. I don't think that the Hungarian does that. It gives you a flash of heat, a little bit of flavor, and then it's basically done. But there are lots of them coming on this plant. So if you're interested in these, all of these peppers will freeze up really well. So if you want to have something on hand to put in soups or stews or chili that you're going to make during the fall and winter months, now's the time to get them while the crops are still doing really well. So that's the update for today. There's just a lot of fall maintenance to do to get things ready to be put to bed for the winter, but I'm not giving up just yet. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.